Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to create a new account on your Xbox Series S. So the first step is you're going to click on the Xbox logo on the controller. You're going to navigate to uh, the very far right here where you see profile and system. And you just go into find, add or switch. You're going to click into this one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find here, add new. You're going to click on add new. And right here you can add a brand new account. So if you already have created a Microsoft account which you're planning on using, when this page loads, you will see uh, the option to enter in the username and password, and you can do that, no issues at all. Now, if you are in a situation where you don't like using the controller, you can also use a second option. So what we're gonna do here is if you want to enter in that email, just enter in here, the field already shows up. However, if you want to use another device, just click on the uh, B on the controller, and then navigate to use another device, click into this one, and what this will do is what you need to do is you need to go on your computer or go on your phone, Go to that website, microsoft.com slash link, enter in that code, and then it'll ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account, and you'll be good to go. However, if you want to create a brand new account, like from scratch, you don't have one already, you're going to go back, and you're going to navigate here to get a new email. You're going to click into this one, and what this will do is it will run you through the process of creating a brand new Microsoft account. And what I do recommend is if you are doing this, that you do plug in an external keyboard, uh, to your Xbox Series S and then you can use that to type out this form because I mean doing this is quite miserable so every single time you have the options so you can see here there's an input field but then there's also you know a second option you see if I just go to the edge of the keyboard it doesn't let me access it so just click on B and then navigate to that field like so and then if you want to fill out the form just click on A and then uh, it'll bring up the on-screen keyboard and um, yeah, so that's really what there is to it. If you do want to connect that external keyboard, I will leave a tutorial in the description. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.